Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sneaker Updates. This will be Sneaker Updates number 30. That's right, guys. It's been it's been a whopping 30 weeks. If you happen to be new here, this has now become a weekly series on the channel. And if you're not familiar with the series, essentially, we go over a variety of different sneakers that of which got updates for throughout this week. For example, some of those may potentially include some Jordans, Yeezys, and more. With that short little intro out of the way though, why don't we jump right into the first update. Kicking it off, why don't we begin with some Jordans, considering that's where the bulk of today's updates actually lie. Kicking it off, let's start off with the Jordan Grade School Turbos. February 15th, Champs stated via their Twitter they would be releasing their Grade School Turbos on March 25th. Well, what do you know, that is tomorrow. So what I would suggest after you finish watching this video, perhaps you should call up your local Champs just to see if they are going to be getting these pairs. More importantly, find out how exactly they're going to be doing it because some locations will be doing tickets, meanwhile other locations will simply be doing a first come first serve in the morning. I do understand it's a weekday, so that might be a nuisance for some of you, so perhaps at your lunch hour at work, maybe that's a good time for you to go check it out if you don't want to call them. Also, if you are watching this video late, just one recommendation would be to perhaps turn on post notifications and subscribe, but of course, that's up to you. You don't have to do that. Also, feel free to follow my Twitter. My Twitter is KeithAdam10. That's where I put small, urgent updates. But anyway, if you were wondering, yes, there's fantastic profit to be made with these. Most importantly, it's a phenomenal margin, specifically because the retail is so low, with the grade school pairs being only 120. Not only that, but in store, you could actually use coupons on these things. It's it's incredible. It doesn't get any better than this. If you were wondering for what are the best sizes for these grade school pairs, it's always the smaller the better, but even a size six or six and a half is still going to get you decent profit with a good margin. Regarding the online drop, this is still not confirmed as of now. However, for safety, I would still look out for it. So perhaps 8 a.m. Eastern time, just like what they did for the kids Foot Locker release but of course you might also want to check at 9 a.m. Eastern Time and also 10 a.m. Eastern Time. But moving on from those, according to Han Zuying, in addition to the Lightbone Nike SB Air Jordan 1, we will also be seeing the SB Jordan 1 Lakers. And let me just say, guys, this is probably one of my favorite shoes that we're going to be seeing in all of 2019. I don't know. I'm a huge fan of Jordan 1s and seeing this colorway, how it could definitely break some necks. It's different. It stands out. It's unique. I don't know. This is something that I just definitely need to get my hands on. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, of course. Moving on, Curtis of Z sneakerheads, we have an in-hand look at the Jordan 14 white and red, also known as the Candy Cane Jordan 14. This pair is going to be dropping for $190 on April 6th. Also, courtesy of Han Zhu Ying, we have a closer in-hand look at the Jim Red Jordan 1, dropping for $160 on June 29th. In my opinion, these aren't anything special, but since they're Jordan 1s, I'll probably end up getting a pair. Additionally, the Jordan 1 Crimson Tint will be dropping on April 13th now. They were initially supposed to drop a little later, but luckily now we're going to be seeing them on the 13th. Guys, let me just say, April is looking absolutely fantastic. I can't wait for it. And of course, like always, the retail on these is going to be $160. Now, also on April 1st, we have the Jordan 1 Crimson Tint Mids dropping. Now, don't sleep on these just because they're mids. There's plenty of profit to be made with mids, and I'm really tired of seeing people sleep on these things. Obviously, you want to stick to the smaller sizes, but I really feel like there's such a stigma behind them just because they're mids. But there really is profit to be made in sizes under 10. Even if you were to sell on StockX, you could see right there that there's profit to be made. So yeah, definitely don't sleep on these. April 1st, starting off with a bang. But with Jordans out of the way, why don't we move on to some Yeezys? Unfortunately, there's only one update for Yeezys, and that's simply the retail prices of the grade school pairs, courtesy of Yeezy Mafia. As you guys know, on March 30th, we have the men's pairs releasing for $220. But now we also have the retail prices of the kids' pairs. For example, the infants will be $140, and also the, the kids' pairs will be $160. I will be making how to cup guide for these so make sure to look out for that if you're interested in copying any of these for personal or to maybe make a quick buck or so also i had a lot of people asking what i recommend doing with the true form and the hyperspaces considering these are region exclusive not only that even if they were a general release there's tons of demand on the true forms and the hyperspaces definitely hold these things if the sesames could go up by a small amount these definitely have tons of potential to do so much more perhaps i'll even make a full in-depth video on this topic and of course, then I would also include the clays because they're a slightly different situation, but we'll talk about that. 
With Yeezys out of the way though, moving on to some miscellaneous sneakers. First of all, the white Alpha Edge 4D is supposed to be dropping again on adidas.com March 28th for $300. Perhaps this is an error, but I don't think it's an error, specifically because a lot of Shopify sites have actually been restocking these lately, so I do think that this is actually going to be happening. Obviously, there's no profit to be made on these anymore. There was small profit to be made initially when they first released if you sold them quick enough. Right now though, there's not really anything to be made. However, I will be on the lookout in case there's any big coupons you might be able to use on these, because even if they're not profitable, it's a cool looking shoe. If you're wondering on the comfort level of 40s though, it's nothing fantastic. I don't think it's worth paying $300 for these shoes at all. I bought them and I'm not really not really that satisfied. I mean, if I'm paying that much money for a shoe that's supposed to be super comfortable and great, I mean, I'm gonna want it more comfortable than Ultra Boosts. And frankly, Ultra Boosts and also Yeezy V2s, more comfortable in my opinion. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments. And finally, for the last update, this was actually meant to go in last week's video, but I completely forgot it, which is shame on me, because this is such a massive release and I'm so excited for this one. The Air Max Susan Missing Link will be dropping for $170 on April 9th. Man, again, I must explain to you guys, April is looking absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to jump right into it, but with that, I'm gonna conclude today's video. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, or if you perhaps learn a thing or two, also subscribe and turn on post notifications just to stay 100% updated on all these sneakers or future hyped releases. With that though, I'll see you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And that brought to me transport. It takes very, very long. Because Kazakhstan is not be. So transport down the well. So my country can be free. So